Comments, one of my favorite topics. I use comments all the time. Comments have two functions. They can be used to turn on or off parts of your code or just a specific row of your code. And they can also be used to document your code so that when you come back to a code that you have written a couple of months ago, you can make sense of it. In MATLAB, the sign for a comment is the percentage sign. To comment out a row of code, place your cursor in the beginning of the row and use the percentage sign, like this. This makes the whole row green, which means that it's now a comment and it will not be executed. If I run this project now, if I run the script, you can see that we no longer have the area of the circle variable here. We no longer have that value because this row of code was not executed. To turn it back on, just remove the percentage sign, just delete it, and it works again. You can do the same thing for multiple rows of code by simply adding the comment sign to more rows. There is an even easier way to do this, and that's by simply pressing your cursor on a given row or selecting multiple rows, and then use the shortcut Control R to comment them or Control T to uncomment them, like this. If I want to comment everything here, I can select it like this and press Ctrl R on my keyboard. All of these rows beca became commented. Now you don't even need to start from the beginning of this row. You can start uh, halfway through it and halfway through the other row and it will comment all of these rows. So, and after they are commented, you can uncomment them by using Ctrl T. Now, Document your code means to explain parts of your code that are not self-explainable. What I mean by this is, if a given piece of code can be understood by anyone with just a glance of an eye, no comments are needed. But since we often work with equations, that's not always very easy to do. Using appropriate variable names is also an integral part of the documentation. When additional explanations are required, you can just create a comment above or next to the row or rows of code that needs to be explained and just explain them with plain words. And I will shortly show you an example of that. Before that, we also have code sections. They are very useful to separate the different parts of your code. To create a section, you have to use two consecutive percentage signs. And if I do it here in the beginning, as you can see, the whole background turned yellowish. These percentage signs also allow you to write comments after them, so you can give a name to your section. Currently, all of our code is highlighted because we have only one section. We can also create another section. So, our first example was with radius, circumference and area, and then we moved on to some other examples. So we can create a second section down here, and we can give them names. So we can say that this is the section about area and circumference of a circle. And this is some random uh, section. It's not a random section, but just a generic name. Now, as you can see, as I move my cursor between the two sections, each of these sections get highlighted. This makes it easier for you to focus to uh, the, the specific code that is in the given that is in the given section. You can also see that uh, when you select a given file in the current folder window here, currently our first file is selected since we are working in the first file that we created, you can see that additional information is uh, displayed about this file and this is the two sections that we just created. So when you click on a file, if I change it to another file, we no longer have any sections, but here we do. So this is another thing that you get from sections. Now let me show you an example of uh, code documentation. This is a code that I have shown you in a previous uh, lecture. It's a code that I have written three years ago. As you can see, I have comments everywhere. I, there is almost no row. There are pretty much no rows that, have, that don't have comments on them. This is because uh, I created this file for other people. And I wanted it to be very clear. Uh, I wanted everyone to be able to understand it. So I have commented, I have documented everything in that file. I have probably gone a, a bit over my head with the comments, but it doesn't hurt. At that point, I probably didn't even know that sections existed. Uh, instead of using that many uh, 
percentage sign to separate my sections, I could have just said variables, variables, initialization, like this. And here we have another section and so on. So as you can see, I have commented each of the rows, I have explained them. This variable is the steps between the minimum and the maximum angle of whatever I was calculating. Down here, I have the coordinates for the center point of something. Then I have accessible points. If you didn't have comments in this script file, in this file that I created long ago, and if I didn't have any comments here, I would not be able to understand anything in that file. I have written the file, but I have written it three years ago. If I delete the comments, I, I know what this file does, I know what it's calculating, I know what it's supposed to do, but I would not be able to understand anything in that file. So, very important, use comments to uh, explain your code when it's necessary. Use sections to separate the different sections in your scripts.